Hey everyone, I'm Ryan and we're back in my Lego room. Uh, I got a bit of a mess to clean up here and by mess, I mean I got a set to build. So we're gonna be building up that set. We're gonna be going through my Lego room here. I'm showing off some new shelves I got. If you haven't seen any of my past videos, then you haven't seen any of these. I haven't even talked about them in any of those videos. So I kind of want to go through them, show you what's on them, show you how they're set up and uh, show you this Creator Space Shuttle build. Uh, this one right here. We're gonna build that up, get it done and get it added to the collection. So. Let's kind of jump straight into it. I was originally going to do like a blind build where I have like a giant blanket over me and I'm not able to see the set and I only have the instructions. And I was going under and doing it like here. And I was trying that at first, but uh, yeah, it, it, it severely failed. It's like insanely hard to do. Like I, uh, I urge you guys to try because trying to do a challenge like that is not easy. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go through this creator build here, just kind of snap these pieces on here. I don't know why this page is so blurry. That's such a weird thing to me. I've never seen that in Lego. I hope I got that right. If not, I'll show you after this kind of monologue here. Yeah, all these pages are like super blurry. Like, Bruh. I think you get it. The pages are blurry. Let's check out the set. I think this was a really cool small build to have. I mean, it has some nice little features like the thrusters on the back here, cool little wing piece. And the middle even opens up. You can flip this up and pull out the entire satellite piece. Spread it and you've got the spaceship with the satellite. As you can see, this is all Star Wars and we'll get to that in a second. But down here we have a miscellaneous type shelf and that's where the uh, creator spaceship will go. So starting off, we have our Tatooine mock build. This is the actual Moss Eisley set. And then the rest down here is our work in progress build. We're gonna be building a canyon here with some crashed pods and a lot more. The rest of the shelf is a lot of mementos. That's just trash boxes. And then right here, we have our miscellaneous Legos and just like uh, random packs that I'm trying to save. Throughout this shelf, we have Star Wars. Bigger sets will be up top. That is coming in a future video. And we have our Imperial things, miscellaneous Star Wars starships slash mechs, all of my sealed Star Wars sets so far, random just Clone Wars battle, and then with the Sith, the Scythe, and the uh, Dark Trooper attack, which I made a double variant build of it myself. And then these drawers are just full of random miscellaneous pieces, castle, and so much more. So we have this table here for builds and reviews, the gaming setup right here. And then if we come into this closet, you can actually see that we have a lot more Lego inside. Lego up there, this box is full of old castle and city sets here, which will come out eventually. Loose pieces and a large base plate. Down here we've got larger base plates and more loose pieces. And these are color coordinated boxes and they're respectable colored pieces. Also, this room has some LEDs going through it. So this is how it would look when it's really dark out. As for the ATT setup there, the future video is going to be a 1000 reps for each piece. I've already made this video before on my channel. It is um, for every rep I do, I am allowed to place a piece and I'm going to be doing the same thing for the 1000 pieces in that ATT. So I'll be going to the gym and every rep I complete is a piece that I can place on the set. It's gonna be a larger scale video, a lot better and uh, way better formatted than the other one, but definitely go check that out. And if you guys are trying to join an awesome Lego community here, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks.